back for another week of church together. Last week, I taught you the answer to a very important question. That I want to see if you remember it. Are you ready? Who is always with you? God is always with me. That's right, my friends. You know, last week we talked about those favorite toys that we have. Maybe it's your teddy bear or another stuffed animal or a doll or a blanket. And it is so much fun to take those with us wherever we go. There's somebody that we can love and they help us feel safe. But do you know what? Even when those things, when those toys aren't with us, God always is, and he never leaves us. So one more time, let me ask you that question. Who is always with you? God is always with me. That's right, boys and girls. And last week, we learned a brand new memory verse about how God is with us to help us. Do you remember it? Let's see if we can say it together. Remember, it starts with, we have. Here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. That's right, boys and girls. Okay, now that we're feeling really confident about this verse, we're gonna do some opposites. This time, I wanna see if we can say it with a super low voice. Are you ready to try it? Here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Nice low voices. Hey, do you know what the opposite of low is? It's very high. My voice is kind of high to begin with, but can you try to make a high squeaky voice with me this time while we say our memory verse? Okay, here we go. We have the Lord our God to help us. Second Chronicles 32, eight. Good job, boys and girls. Good job, boys and girls. No matter how you say it, it's true. We do have the Lord our God to help us. And this week in our true Bible story, we are gonna hear about an amazing woman named Deborah. Everybody say Deborah. Nice job. Well, Deborah, she loved God and God was always with her and she listened to God and he helped her. Let's check out our true Bible story and see. Who? Who? You know what time it is? It's time to hear a story full of wonder. There's so much fun we'll have. I need to know what to do. Like, what should I eat for snacks? Or what color marker should I draw with? Or should I wear my flip-flops or my rain boots? This thinking hat is so great. I'm gonna wear it everywhere. Who? Who? Hey, it's Holly. Hello, Manny. Who? Who? That's quite the hat. How's it working for you? Hi, Ollie. When I spin my thinking hat, I always know just what to do. Making choices isn't easy. That's true. But I know someone wise to help you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, 
Hola, friends! I'm Luis the Handyman. I just finished fixing this gavel for my friend. She's a judge and uses this in her courtroom. She knocks it on her desk when she wants to say something or tell people what they should do. <laughs> Speaking of judges, that reminds me of today's story. Do you want to help me build it? <laughs> Great! Let's put it on the store fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down now. Now we just need our story tools. Yup, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins with a woman named Deborah. Deborah was the leader of all God's people. She was their judge. Every day, Deborah would stand under a tree and the people would come to her with their big questions and ask her what to do. Deborah knew God was with her. She trusted God to help her be wise and tell the people the right thing to do. Now God is always with you too. He can help you be wise and do the right thing. Like when, oh, you and your friend both want to play with the same toy. Hmm. You can be wise and remember that God wants us to love others by sharing. <laughs> or when your brother knocks over your blocks. Well, you can be wise and use kind words instead of yelling at him. <laughs> or when you see someone get hurt, you can be wise and remember that God wants us to help people. God was with Deborah and helped her be wise. God is always with you and can help you be wise and do the right thing too. <laughs> hey there, Ali. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, who is always with you? God is always with me. <laughs> That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios. So there's your story, and it's all true. God helped Deborah be wise, and he can help us be wise too. Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Who? Who? Wow, God helped Deborah to be wise and know what to do. I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you didn't say got it, you get it? Got it! Good! My thinking hat is fun to wear, but I know I have God to help me make wise choices. I'll see you guys next time. Bye! Boys and girls, did you hear that? God was with Deborah and he helped her to be wise. People from all around would come to her and ask her questions and God gave her the wisdom to answer those questions. And did you know what, boys and girls? God is with us the same way. God is with me so I can be wise. And do you know how we get God's wisdom? There's a couple of ways. One of the ways is by reading his true words in the Bible. The other way is by talking to him. And do you know how we talk to God? We pray. Boys and girls, will you pray with me so that we can talk to God and ask him for wisdom? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, close our eyes, and you can repeat after me. Dear God, Thank you for helping me to be wise. I know I can always trust you. Thank you for being with me always. Amen. 
Amen, boys and girls. I had so much fun talking to you today. And you know what? We still have one more song. So I want you to get up off your feet, get ready to sing and dance and praise our God who's always with us. And I'll see you back here next week. I love you, friends. Bye. Ooh.